So Nick, you brought us out of our studio to the Forest of Birds here at Bristol Zoo. What are you wanting to film? Um, well, you can probably hear we're in the middle of a lot of birds, so I'm hoping that we're going to capture the beautifully vibrant rainbow lorikeet. The really remarkable thing about rainbow lorikeets is they've got this really unusual tongue that looks a little bit like a brush. So to get a really nice macro of these guys using their tongues, I'm going to hold out one of these pots flat on my palm. Come on! Dinner time! Oh! oh. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you just kicked him out of the way, can you see? You alright? Yep, you got something there? Yeah. Cool, okay. Oh, that's perfect, that's Simon. Great. Nice one. Oh, I can see just how efficient it is, actually. Just the weirdest tongue I've ever seen. I think. <laughs> so on the tip, it's kind of covered in these hairy bristles. What are they called, Sam? Uh, Papilli. That's it. They're super cool, yeah. Yeah, so we've got um, an SEM graphic that really shows the texture on there. So the Papilli, the same sort of thing we were seeing with the cat when we observed that drinking. And yeah, they had keratinized Papilli, which is kind of more spiky, actually. So these guys, like you say, they're really brush-like, aren't they? It looks like in the SEM, it looks like a sort of long tagliatelle almost. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Just loads of surface area to mop up as much as possible. What on earth is going on with that eye? Yeah, well that's the nictitating membrane. So I think I'm right in saying almost all birds have this nictitating membrane and it just slides across when they're getting very close to things, whether it's branches or bits of food, like in this case, or your hand, <laughs> whatever it might be. And it just adds that extra layer of protection. It's really sort of thick and prevents them from scratching their eyes. Wow, that's, yeah. that's cool. Did we see that with the golden eagle? We did, yeah. yeah. And the title so. shot, for example. A little eagles, wink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we've really nailed that shot, what do you reckon? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, I think we've still got some really nice light, so let's try and get some awesome flight shots. Cool. cool. Just get them dive bombing towards the camera or something like that, it'd be really cool. There we go! <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made wow. my day, little guy. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Awesome bird poo at 2,000 frames a second. <laughs> beautiful. What this camera was designed for, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Still, it's he launches, doesn't he? A bit of a head dive. Yeah. <laughs> so those flight feathers particularly look so iridescent, they really sort of punch out, don't they? That's cool. All social birds, I think, sort of take off in that massive flock I was seeing, but I always sort of thought there must be one wimp who goes first.
Guys, I don't think it gets much more epic than that. I'm really, really happy with that. Absolutely. Yeah, let's call it a day there, I reckon. Yeah, it's been a good day. So to keep up the latest um, slow-mo videos from Earth and Plug, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.